um, being on board with the skin cancer cancel stuff, that must be, I don't know, at this time of year it becomes even more important for you guys, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, as you know, in Canberra it can get pretty hot pretty quick, so I think um, staying on top of, you know, not getting sunburnt and, and your sun safety is pretty important. Are you one of the ones who burns up quite quickly? Or? Yeah, yeah. Um, if I forget sunscreen or a hat for big sessions, I'll, I'll be terribly sunburned at night, which, which affects all my recovery and things like that. So I definitely make sure I get on board with the sun, sunscreen that's available. How, how do you guys cope with the heat? Because I know a couple of years ago they had you sitting in saunas and stuff um, before and after training to, to kind of get used to it. Because the first few rounds you're playing this sort of heat, 37 degrees sort of thing, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, Ben sopel has got a good program for us and we do jump in the sauna a fair bit to sort of stay acclimatised to the heat. Um, so it's not such a rude shock when you jump on the field for a couple of hours and, and um, you know, then the fatigue sort of hits you even more. But, yeah, we're doing all, all we can to sort of try and get acclimatised for those first few rounds. I know um, Christian's obviously a different form of cancer, but does it make a, a cause like this even more important given everything that's happened? I think ab absolutely, mate. Um, obviously, any kind of you know, prevention and, and awareness is, is important. So anything you can do within your own, own groups sort of to prevent anything to do with cancer, you know, is important. So I think sun safety is, is paramount. So, yeah, it's easy. Third pre-season now with Brums? Yeah, third pre-season. Yeah. So looking forward to it. Um, it doesn't get any easier, I don't think. Each year they sort up the ante. So, um, yeah, it's going to be another hard block. But, yeah, looking forward to it. What are your aims, I guess, for the next 12 months? Like, um, I think you're off contract at the end of this, uh, next year, 2017. Mm -hmm. what, what do you want to develop in your game? What, what steps do you want to take? Uh, I think um, pre-season is a good part of the year where you can keep working on your individual skills, keep adding to what you've already got, and then just obviously getting a lot fitter and ready for the season. But um, personally, I'm just going to try and get more game time, as always, throughout the year. Be that um, next year of a presence in the, in the, in the squad. So... Anything I can do and, and will do during pre-season to put me in the best spot I'll be doing. Even though it is only your third year here, do, do you feel like you've got to step up as a leader a bit, especially at this time of year when some guys are away, some guys have left, that sort of thing? Yeah, I think so. There's a lot of new faces actually this year, so I think um, you want them to sort of feel at home as soon as possible so they can just focus on becoming a better rugby player. So if you can take any kind of leadership role and mentor any of the younger players, you know, that's a bonus. So. I'll definitely put my hand up. Being you know third season, it's not like very long, but I mean you've been a part of the squad for a while, so you know a few things and help out wherever you can.